from time to time you may have the need to share a full assembly with someone, a vendor, another associate or friend, and you just want to give them a nice pretty model which has no components, no joints, just as a dumb solid. That's what this video is about. Here I have a model which has actually joints and components and can actually be driven as you can see so it's complete. What we want to do is convert it into a dumb solid using a very easy process. That's what this video is about. There are two things you must do or have in place to use this process. First of all you must have a timeline. If you're not capturing design history this video will not help you. The second one is under select. Under the select menu go down selection filters make sure that you can select through and have all on at least but mainly select through. Okay the first step to get started is to make a work plane above your article your assembly or below it something that's not touching it. So I'm going to go above it from this surface. I'm going to go up slightly and make sure I'm above it. A little bit farther and I'm there. Next thing, say OK to that and make a new sketch on that plane. Now you want to draw a two point rectangle around the complete assembly. Size does not make a difference, just make sure it's fully enclosed within over top the full model as you can see here. Finish your sketch. Next thing you want to do is extrude it. Go down. With, I'm going down. You may be going up. It doesn't matter. It, as it touches the model it's going to try and cut. Turns red. That's good. You can actually see when it gets through the model completely. Go a little bit further. But before you say OK change to new body and say OK. After you've left your sketch and made your bodies, the next step is to combine. Combine is, I have it on my toolbar, but it's down underneath modify. You'll see it right here, combine. What you want to do, the target body is that block. And then the tool bodies are all the components, all the bodies, excuse me, in the components. Now that's why I had the filter select all on because you want to be able to see through it. So what you want to do for the selection of tool body is put a wind around the whole block. That makes sure I get all the tool bodies from the components. I'm going to get approximately 22 in a second. Then I want to change to intersect. This will only take, it will replace the components or the bodies in the components with the solid block material wherever they intersect. You also probably want to check new component. Now the next thing is very interesting. If you do not keep bodies this assembly will be destroyed. If you do keep bodies it will keep all the bodies within the components. If you just don't save this assembly you can leave it like it is. But if you want to continue to work with it be sure you check that box. I'm going to leave it unchecked, I'm going to just close the assembly when I finish. Say OK. It takes a few seconds to perk and you'll get yourself a new component. As you can see down at the bottom there is a new component right there. The next step you want to do is take this component, right click on it and save copy as out to the cloud. So I pick on save copy as you actually could put it onto your desktop if you wanted to with export, but I'm going to do save copy as. And I'm going to call it engine, and I'll put a dash and put dumb solid. I'm going to put it in the same folder, but I'm going to say oh, save now. At this point, I've got my component outside and saved. It is a dumb component, but I still need to do a couple things to it. Remember I told you, since I did not check these, keep, retain the bodies, 
Each one of these things do not have any more components underneath of them or no bodies. So they're not any good. There's nothing here except this one body which you made. This is the component. If I get rid of, turn the component off, see there's nothing left. So be sure and don't save it. The last step is to open up that component that you just saved as a dumb solid and you want to look at your timeline. It's got an error because it came from a model which you have now removed it from. So what I recommend you do is right click on that one and convert to DM feature. That's one level more security. Now as you can see if I go to section analysis and I'll pick on that front face it is a just a dumb solid. It's just one solid piece. It has the cavities in it but nothing show you there's a shaft or anything. You have accomplished your task and you now can send it to someone with no fear of them copying your design but they do have a beautiful model to look at as you can see. Hope this helped you do better modeling in Fusion 360.